It's Wednesday morning and I've got almost 20 orders going out the door. Let's get to work. Okay, first thing going out is a fishing reel. It's a vintage, I think it's a Shakespeare. Um, I took a best offer of $9 plus shipping. Next is a baseball hat. This is vintage Atlanta Braves. Took a best offer of $8 plus shipping on this and it's going to a viewer. Going to a viewer named Drew and on YouTube he's known as the Sunshine State Picker because he's down in Florida. And he sent a message saying that he's been selling for like eight years and he never really realized until recently that there is this whole YouTube community out there of resellers. And I kind of had the same experience three years ago. And ever since I've just learned so much from so many different resellers and how to like make my business better. So Drew, thank you so much for the support, man. And hope you like the hat. Okay, next thing going out is two bobbleheads. It's going to the same person. My family and I went through the Hall of Fame Museum uh, at a Reds game here recently. And uh, these were a giveaway. Um, so the extra ones, we decided to sell. I only kept one of them. And these sold for $27.99 each plus shipping. All right, next thing shipping out is more bobbleheads. You sniffing it out, buddy? Can you find them? These are Ken Griffey Jr. bobbleheads. We got these the same day. These were just like a giveaway for going to the game. And the buyer bought two of them. These sold for $39.98 plus shipping. They were $19.99 each. Next thing is a baseball glove. This is a Rawlings Heritage Series. Quick uh, thing I'll point out to you guys. Um, anytime you see the model number on the glove, the numbers near the end are the size. So this is an 11 and a half inch glove and the model is H115. That's 11.5 inches. If it was um, 12 inches, it'd be H12. So. Um, whenever you're looking at models of gloves, if you can't find it, uh, maybe just search in broader terms, you know, like Rawlings Heritage or something like that, and it might be easier to find. Uh, this one I paid three dollars for, and it sold for twenty-four ninety-nine plus shipping. I sold some cups that have the Ratatouille logo on them from the Pixar movie. I got these like three months ago at a garage sale. I think I paid four or five bucks. Had them listed for about 30 or best offer. Took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. Okay, next thing going out is an auction lot that I did. These are vintage Matchbox and Hot Wheel cars. I got these at a garage sale a few weeks ago. I think I paid 10 bucks for them. And I pulled out one or two that I'm trying to sell for about $20 each. This lot brought $11 plus shipping. And they're going out to a viewer named Dallas. Dallas. Thanks for your business. Hope you like the cars. Sold some more of those on off switches. Back in here. Pick these up for a buck or two a piece. And I had um, multi quantity discount on them. So the more the buyer bought, the cheaper they were. So the three of them sold for $30.57 free shipping. Okay, sold another Ken Griffey Jr. bobblehead. That might be the last of the ones I have. Yeah, I think this is the last one. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold a die-cast car. This one is the Tony Stewart Jurassic Park. Here it is. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Sold another Rawlings baseball glove. This one right here. Uh, this one I picked up for like three or four dollars, I think. I might have even paid up to five on this one. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Sold a DVD set. Groucho Marks. I think it's down here near the bottom. There it is. Don't bet your life. The best episodes. Got this in a lot of stuff that my neighbor was having a garage sale and I just kind of bought his leftovers. It sold for $8.99 free shipping and it's going out to a viewer named Dustin. Dustin, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. Sold some more wristbands. Let's see. Here it is. Got these at a garage sale for a dollar. They sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Correction, free shipping on these. And this is my last one. These are going out to a viewer named Andrew. Andrew, thanks for the business. Hope you like the wristbands. Okay, the rest of the orders are over in the storage unit. So Crosley and I are going to walk over there and get them. Okay, I'm shipping out a hat. This is a starter hat. 
I got this for two bucks at a garage sale a couple weekends ago. It sold for $8.99 plus shipping. This is going out to a viewer named Timo who says he collects hats. So Timo, thank you so much for the support. Hope you like this one. Sold some more Avon stuff. It's the uh, Ageless Active Seed Sunscreen. Got this for like a buck or two in Tennessee at the 127 sale and it sold for $14.99 free shipping. Sold a PC game. It's a uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Got this at a garage shop for like 50 cents. It sold for $8.99 free shipping. This one's also going out to a viewer named Max. Max, thanks for the business. Hope you like the game. Last thing we're pulling out of storage is this huge Odyssey putter. This is a long, long putter. It's like 49 inches. Got this at a garage sale last weekend. I paid five bucks and it sold for $99.99 plus shipping. I noticed my sales over the last month or so have just steadily gone up. And a big part of that is because you guys have just been buying so much from my eBay store and supporting my business. And I just want to thank you so much. It means a lot to me. This is how I support my family. And every time I see a viewer sale, it just makes me really happy. So guys, thank you so much. I got this Schwinn Little Tiger bike over the weekend. Um, it was the viewer, uh, Ryan, that I bought a bunch of stuff from. And this bike was part of it. The tires are just totally trashed on this thing. They're in really bad shape. I could, you know, clean it up, get new tires, and I might get between $200 and $300. Um, I could sell it as is and maybe get like 50 or 75 But I think I'm going to part this thing out. I'm hoping to spend maybe 30 to 45 minutes and just take a bunch of these pieces off. I was looking online and quite a few of these parts are selling pretty well. The seat is selling, uh, the sissy bar is selling, the fenders are selling. A little bit rusted, so I have to clean them up a little bit. Uh, the handlebar is selling for a little bit. This badge is selling. The chain guard. I think the money in this is definitely in partying out, so I'm hoping to get 150, 200 bucks once I sell all the parts. If you guys have parted out bicycles like this and you have any tips or tricks, I'd love to hear about them. Leave them in the comment section below. Thanks. It's Thursday afternoon. Just got back from the garage sales, which were kind of a disappointment, but got about a dozen orders going out the door. Okay, first thing going out the door is a coat purse. I had this listed for, I think it was like $30 or best offer. I took a best offer of $20 plus shipping. I got this in the big lot of stuff. Um, that my neighbor sold me. It was the garage sale leftover, so don't have very much into this. Next is a bunch of cassette tapes. Uh, it's three different listings. This listing right here was 12 cassette tapes. Uh, they sold for $9.99 free shipping, and then there's a couple other lots of cassettes. Some George Strait in here. These are two. Um, these sold for $11.99. Free shipping and this Sinead O'Connor tape. Uh, this sold for $9.99 free shipping. Those are all going out to a viewer named Carol. She bought the George Strait and the Sinead O'Connor and then asked if I had more. And I did have some other ones laying around. That's a lot I sold her just for 10 bucks because I can combine shipping and all that. Send it media mail. Those will all ship out for about $3.50. Carol, I know you've bought tapes for me before, so I'm sure you're amassing quite the collection. Thanks so much for your support. Hope you like the tapes. Okay, next is a Hot Wheel car. I pulled out of that a lot of Hot Wheels I had recently. I just the little one. Where's he at in here? There he is. This sold for $11.99, free shipping. And yeah, it's going on to a viewer named Kevin. Kevin, thanks for your business. Hope you like the car. Sold some Avon night cream. Two packages. Got these for like a few bucks. Down in Tennessee at the 127 sale. Sold the pair for $25.99 free shipping. Sold some magazines. I got these at a garage sale maybe two or three months ago. They are Porsche magazines. A big lot of them here. Paid a dollar for the whole stack of these. These are Porsche Panorama. So it's the magazine of the Porsche Club of America. And there's about a dozen or so. I had them listed for... I want to say like $25 or best offer. I took a best offer of $15 plus shipping. And I'm going to give you guys a quick tip. You cannot ship magazines via media mail. Um, one of the rulings of media mail is that it can't have advertising. 
and almost every magazine ever made has advertising so these will have to go priority mail but I think I'll either be able to fit them in like a flat rate box or like a regional B regional A something like that kind of save on shipping okay these magazines are weighing in at like 11 and a half pounds before I do the box or any kind of packaging so I'm gonna see if I can't fit these in a regional B or even a regional A yeah, I think they're going to fit in this A. Yep, they fit in there nicely. So now this is going to ship at a two pound rate. Um, just be careful though, because maximum weight on these is 15 pounds. A handful of orders we're pulling out of storage. Uh, there's some golf clubs, maybe one golf club. This Mizuno pitching wedge. So this is a teaser pitching wedge. Got that at a garage sale for a dollar and sold for $12.99 plus shipping. And I sold this baseball bat. This was in the, um, the buy I just did from Ryan, that big bulk buy. Um, I paid 500 for everything. I'm not into the profit yet, but this is getting me a little closer. This sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Sold a Titleist hat. I got this a couple weekends ago for $2. New with the tags, it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold this humidifier for $12.99 plus shipping. This was a retail arbitrage buy. I think I paid like 10 bucks. These just didn't turn out to be a very good buy. I sold a little toy. This is an old Electrolux vacuum toy. Um, it's not in the best shape. I got this on vacation in Florida. I paid like a quarter, maybe 50 cents for it. And it's got it's got some broken pieces. I mean, it's, it's really not in good condition. Only reason I listed it is because they're fairly uncommon uh, and they do sell. So I thought somebody might want it. And a viewer sent me an offer of $5 plus shipping. It's going out to Joseph. Joseph, thanks for the support, man. Really appreciate it. I sold three die-cast cars to one buyer, and one of them is here in storage. This is a Kevin Harvick IROC series, which I've learned are worth a little bit more money. This sold for $21.99 plus shipping. Okay, two more cars going out in that order. This is a Dale Earnhardt IROC Firebird. This one sold for $29.99. Another Dale Earnhardt. This one's blue though, and it sold for $29.99. The buyer paid shipping for all three, so I'll make sure that I just combine it into one box and then refund him the difference. It's Friday afternoon, got back from the garage sales, and the garage sales were way better today than they were yesterday. But now I've got like 10 orders I gotta ship out. So let's get to work. First thing I'm shipping out is a scale. It's a royal scale, I think there's a adapter for it down in here too. There it is. I got this at a garage sale for five dollars maybe a month ago and I took a best offer of fifteen dollars and sixty four cents plus shipping and it's going out to a viewer named Jimmy. Jimmy thanks so much for the support. Hope this helps you with your eBay business. I sold a PC game right here. Heavy Metal Fac 2. This was in that bulk buy I just did that I spent like $500 on. I'm not quite in the profit yet, but this will get me just a little bit closer. This sold for $14.99 free shipping. Sold a VHS tape. Howard the Duck. I got this in Tennessee at the Route 127 sale. Paid 50 cents. I wish the case was in better condition. If this was in better condition, it would have sold for more, but as it was, it sold for $7.99, free shipping. That's going out to a viewer named Joseph. Joseph, thanks for the support, man. Really appreciate your business. And Joseph has an eBay store, and I was kind of looking through it. There's a lot of cool sports stuff. If that's something you guys are interested in, I'll put a link down in the description below to check it out. Sold a diecast car. It's up here in this box. It is a Kevin Harvick Looney Tunes, although I think there's a couple of them, so I don't know if it's that one. If it is a different one. Here it is. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold a scientific lab stirring machine. I've had this for quite a while. Got this at a garage sale maybe like six or nine months ago. It's been a while. Paid five bucks and took a best offer of $14 plus shipping. Sold a bobblehead. This one's in the box. Picked this up in Tennessee at the Route 127 sale. I paid, oh no, wait, I'm sorry, the Highway 70 sale. I paid $5 for this. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. This is going out to a viewer named Brett. 
who says he's a diehard Cubs fan. Brett, sorry to hear that, but I still appreciate your business. Thank you. Sold some more reed diffusers. Got some games on top here. I need to move to get out of the way first. I sold three honey clementine. Look at this. I'm down to one. I'd set up a multi-quantity discount on these. So the three sold for $30.57 plus shipping. Also sold three packages of bicycle loop. These three sold for $15.27 free shipping. Last thing we're shipping out is a Hot Wheels toy. It's a MX Heads motocross toy. I believe it is this one right here. Um, I got this at a garage sale. I think I paid like somewhere between five and ten bucks. It's been a while now. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Just pulling one thing out of the storage unit today that sold. Sold this Sony power adapter. Got it uh, 50 cents at the garage sale. Sold for $9.99 free shipping. I was talking to a viewer recently and he said something about taking packages to the post office and paying for them at the post office and I brought up pirateship.com to him um, so I guess the way he's kind of been doing it is he just packages the items and you know writes the address on there and then takes them to the post office and pays for the, the postage and I think that's what I did when I first started selling on eBay probably for at least a year or two and then I started to print the labels on eBay and just put them right on the box and take them to the, you know, just drop them off the post office counter and was done with it. Doing it that way, uh, buying your postage on eBay, you can save a lot on postage. And personally, what I've used in the last year is pirateship.com. And I absolutely love it. Um, they link to your eBay account. When you pull up your account, it shows everything that you have to ship that you've sold. And when you buy the label, it adds the tracking information to your eBay listing so your buyer sees all that tracking info. To the best of my knowledge, all the discounts on PirateShip.com are the maximum discounts that USPS allows. So like all those discounts that eBay gives you with top rated and everything, you get those with PirateShip and you're not paying any kind of fees or you don't need a rating or anything like that. You can also buy just regular postage on PirateShip and it's discounted too. I'm not at all affiliated with PirateShip.com. I don't get any like kickbacks or anything like that if you guys use it. I just personally really like it and I'm willing to bet there's a handful of people out there watching this that still take their packages to the post office and pay for postage. So um, check out PirateShip.com. Uh, check out the discounts you get with shipping on eBay because it'll definitely save you a lot of money shipping it that way as opposed to paying the retail price inside the post office. It's the end of the week, so I'm gonna update you guys on the listings I did. About a month ago, I set out a goal to have a thousand active items in my eBay store by year end. At the time, I was at 392 listings, and as of today, I'm at 561. Um, this week was a really good week. Just, it's just awesome. Lots of listings. Uh, Monday to 36, Tuesday 39, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Not quite as much. Um, last week I only did 85 listings for 1982. This week I did 112 listings for 32.12. So I've already hit the 500 mark, and I think next week I might be able to hit the 600 mark. I'm trying to climb up to a thousand. I've got no shortage of inventory to list, so I'll be busy next week as well. Got some viewer mail I wanted to share with you guys. This is from Travis. He says, "John, this bat literally has your name on it." I was at an estate sale and the nice lady said it belonged to her father. It's vintage 30s or 40s made in Cincinnati. Comps are decent, but I hope you keep it as a friendly reminder of viewer appreciation. Travis, also known as Barter Mania on YouTube. This is really cool. Yeah, Hutch Sporting Goods. I actually see a lot of this stuff around Cincinnati since it was all made here. And he's right. There's my name right there. John, hand carved in there. Thank you, Travis. This is really cool and I'm definitely going to keep it. I've got a nice collection of bats and this will go with it. All right, it's that time guys. Um, around the middle of the month, every month, I'm gonna do a drawing for the postcards. I've got quite a few to pick from and I'm gonna do a giveaway every month. This month's giveaway, I'll show you guys. This month's giveaway is a Garage Flips mug. So it's got the Garage Flips logo on one side and says plus shipping on top on the other side. That's my good friend Lonnie, that's his channel and also got a Garage Flips koozie, hashtag shed life, 
and some garage flips stickers. Lonnie raised money um, for the American Cancer Society by selling these. And I bought one for myself and I bought an extra to give away. And um, a few of these have been showing up on eBay. And I know that Lonnie has no problem with it. He, he addressed that in a video. And uh, if you guys want to sell this, I have no problem with it either. You know, the money's already been donated to the American Cancer Society. So this will be yours to do with as you choose. All right, let's pick a winner. All right, that is a cool looking postcard. Let's see who it is from. Hi, me and my husband and enjoy your channel. Keep on picking. Thanks, Rick and Rhonda from North Carolina. All right, you guys win the mug. Thank you, Rick and Rhonda. Um, I've got your address here, so I will get that shipped out to you. And what I'm going to do every month is the winning postcard is going to go up on my wall. And I'm going to put those up there for display. I'm going to draw from the same box of postcards next month. So just because you didn't win this month doesn't mean you can't win next month. And if you guys want to be entered to win in the monthly drawing, my P.O. box is down below in the description. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.